All right, hey, we're back. Uh, got all of the uh, cabin saw masks off, and now we're ready to prime. So um, we're gonna be, today. We're gonna be using primer and paint from Sherwin Williams. Um, I, I don't use any other paint. This paint, it's just so good. The quality is so great, and the people at Sherwin Williams are always awesome to work with. So this is an Extreme Bond primer, and uh, I've used this on painting other cabinets. It's so good that you actually don't have to degloss your cabinet, so there's no wiping off. I mean, you just that warm soapy water, and then the next step is primer. So it saves you a lot of time. It works so well, and it's just, it's just fantastic. And then uh, after we spray everything with the, with the primer, we're gonna go ahead and let it dry. And then I'll come back and sand it with some, uh, I don't know, maybe like a worn out 220 grit sandpaper, um, just to knock down any little, you know, fuzz balls or anything else that happened to be on the cabinets or whatever like that to give it a real nice finish. And then we're gonna come back with this uh, urethane enamel. This is a water-based enamel, um, and it puts on just an absolute fantastic finish when it's done. So, like I said, we're gonna start with the primer, come back with this enamel, and we're gonna, I just bought this, it's brand new, so we're gonna be going with this brand new Greco airless sprayer. We're gonna see uh, how well it works. It's got a fine finish tip in it, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and rock and roll with this thing. So this is a little different than the other airless sprayers where you're priming it and you have to do the tube. So because it's just sucking out of this little paint cup here, and this is just a flexible bag liner, the way you're gonna use this is you actually squeeze this. You actually have this little prime pump here. This, this uh, sprayer will only work if all the air is out of the sprayer. So you squeeze it until you see paint come out the end and we go like that and then we seal off the paint cup. And, uh, and then we'll have it in the prime pump and it's going to be sucking the paint up in there right now. And then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start spraying here in just a second. Turn my speed down to prime it. We'll go ahead and start spraying. We'll dial in our pressure to get the right spray and See where we're at here. So like I said, this is primer. This whole back wall is gonna be getting tiled, so it's masked off, like I just masked off the plugs and stuff like that, so it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna use this wall to uh, test my pressure because it's all gonna be tiled. We'll see how this goes. It's got a little bit of water in it because I was priming the pump. Um, before, so we'll see how we want our pressure to go here. And I think we're pretty close to what I want. painted that way when you come like this and you brush your when you turn your painter like that it ends up being really thin on the side really thick in the middle really thin on the end but what you really should do is you should keep the paint gun totally perpendicular to your whatever you're painting so all right so I just finished painting that final coat on this the, the cabinets here and I saw a little bit of paint left in this paint cup not a whole lot because you can just see that this cup just kind of collapses but, so you have the option of just taking this apart and trying to like scoop it back in. Or what I do, since I don't reuse these, I just chuck them after each use. I just take this, I lower my pressure down, I, and I showed you that clog feature. So I just take it and then I just...
I just squirt it right back into the paint can until I won't squirt anything else out, which is just about there. That's it. And then all I'm gonna do now is I have another one of these cups uh, downstairs in my kitchen. I'm gonna fill it up with water. I'm gonna run the gun until there's nothing else in it and uh, the water runs clear. And then I'll just put a little bit of pump armor in there from Graco to protect the pump until the next time I use it. So would I recommend this handheld sprayer? Absolutely, I'd buy it again in a minute. Um, I love using this. And uh, if you are gonna be a little home doer, do it yourself or you wanna paint base, doors, crown, cabinets, I mean, anything, this would just make it so much faster. I remember when I was building my house in Reno, I was painting some closet doors and I was actually laughing about this last night with my wife. I had some bifold doors that were textured and uh, like a raised panel. And I had the little four inch rollers I rolled them. It took me hours and I was just thinking, if I would have had this sprayer when I did that, it would have been like a four minute job and I would have been done. So if time is uh, something that you uh, hold precious, which I do, I have very little time to get these projects done with my normal work schedule and uh, family obligations. If that's what you treasure, I would highly recommend getting this gun. Amazon, $549, pick it up.